Hi, Dan Matichuk here, and uh, I wanted to show you my uh, the hood and uh, the basically the refractory surround piece that I made um, around my uh, my kiln and my metal mounting furnace, and uh, I also wanted to show you my uh, uh, test kiln that I uh, had a melt done in, in a previous video and I had repaired it and I wanted to show you that and tell you how I did it and what I did. And, uh, let me back up so you can get a full view here. The um, There we go. Okay. Now what I did was I have um, the hood I got from uh, actually a friend of mine was working on a building for a uh, local Pittsburgh, well actually a Pittsburgh pizza icon uh, that uh, this hood was in their, one of their storage buildings and uh, at the time I was getting ready to build this, it was about two years ago and I started this uh, whole pro the whole project on here or started gathering things I should say and uh, he was telling me what he was doing, I said oh, grab that for me if they don't want it because they were going to throw it away so this is probably from the, it's Vincent's Pizza in Pittsburgh, if you know Pittsburgh uh, this might be from one of their first stores. It's very old, very old hood. And what I did was I took uh, steel uh, bars that I got. I actually picked up some steel bar, uh, thin, st fairly thin steel bar. Uh, some I was throwing away, and I built a f built this frame. And it's just uh, the two sides. I have four, you know, four posts, and then pieces across the top and the bottom, and um, across the front and they're just they're uh, welded together and then I took this stuff I don't know if you've ever seen this uh, here's a piece here this is from uh, a walling system that they use on exterior buildings this is there's really a couple different kinds this is the thinner stuff um, again someone was throwing away two rolls of this so I grabbed it it's uh, Z brick I believe is the brand but it's just a, like a nylon, I think it's fiberglass and plastic, uh, maybe just fiberglass, a mesh. And uh, I just uh, stretched that across the frame and uh, took um, uh, cement and uh, I just uh, like Portland cement and some sand and brushed it on at first to give a, to make a shell. And then on the inside I just used cardboard forms when I first started for the first part of the wall. And now towards the top, I'm just putting it in, you know, by hand to finish up the last piece. But uh, it's a homemade, like, low-grade refractory. Uh, it's good up to about, uh, probably about 1,000 degrees. And it's about, my walls are about four, maybe four and a half inches thick. And uh, I, I'm doing that right up to the hood. And let me show you. Here I'm doing the last section. You can see I'm actually laying in the last piece. I got a little bit open across the top and the back, and that's it. And it uh, kind of looks like a bat cave. <laughs> I like to look. <coughs> but that refractory is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's uh, one part um, Portland cement, uh, two parts uh, sand, and it's just like a mixed grain size sand, and um, uh, two parts of uh, perlite. It's actually not very uh, strong, you know, as far as that goes. But which, you know, if I ever decide to change this or, you know, get rid of it, whatever, it's fairly easy to break up. In fact, it's actually even reusable. You could take it and crunch it up and throw it in. I actually have a couple buckets that I saved from a piece that I, you know, one wall section that I redid, and uh, I mix that in, and you know, it's uh, uh, just like big uh, grog, <laughs> basically. You know, it, it pulverizes pretty good. But, uh, that's what I did and, uh, to keep the heat in so I can, you know, save space and keep this kiln right up against the wall. And for the fumes, because I have a, what I did, uh, it's kind of dark over here, but uh, you can see I have, I poured it in and I have about a six foot pipe or so to my fan. And uh, that's uh, from a, a dust collector someone was throwing away. And it's all metal, metal blades. Uh, and it, I did that because <coughs> the hood itself gets about you know, maybe 180 degrees, and then it cools down as it goes. I didn't want the fan to get to get too warm, so uh, that's why I did that. And then I just put insulation up on top of it, you know, up in the back, 
apron along the back of it. And the whole thing is on wheels. And believe it or not, it's pretty easy to push around. So you've got the wheels welded to the frame. And, uh, you know, it's pretty easy. It's not actually not real heavy. The perlite makes it fairly light. And, uh, you know, with the floor, with the metal casting, I'm up off the floor because I did my, uh, my metal casting here. I'll show you my furnace. It's a couple, several years old, but I'm getting ready to redo some of this. But, uh, see if you grab the handle here, see that? I mean, lift up the handle. And, uh, let me get this. Okay. And there we go. Pull up the handle. It's hard to do with one hand. That lifts up the whole body, and then you can get to the crucible. And the burner is actually on the comes in on the other side over here. I have my scrap metal I keep over here, and uh, that's the part of the burner. You can see the, the uh, yellow gas line going in, and uh, the hose, the big hose, is for the air, and that comes from up on the shelf. I have this, uh, it's actually a vintage uh, hair dryer with a control for uh, speed. I keep my gloves and you know, various uh, non-contact thermometer and stuff up there. And uh, you can see I still have a little bit of mesh to cover on the outside and uh, to brush on the outside. And I'm going to brush on the inside too and I'm going to use a stain on the whole thing. I have some uh, cement stain when, when I finally finish it, which I'm almost done. I'll probably finish it maybe even today. This is the first metal casting I ever did. <laughs> I made a little piranha, uh, like a sea branch or a weed or whatever. And uh, I just keep that there for good luck, I guess. And my crucible tools for removing them, which I make my own crucibles out of metal pipe. And the uh, corn pone pans, uh, the cast iron, that's for uh, uh, extra metal when you're mounting if you have a little bit of extra aluminum you can't keep it in. Yeah, crucible. It will split when it cools. And this, press down on this pedal, and it's actually... Uh, and it, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot I have to... I'm redoing that section of welding. I forgot I have to finish that yet. I actually rebuilt almost the whole furnace. About, uh, uh, two weeks ago or so. If you pe press down on the pedal right now, there's a piece in the back that I adjusted. So it never quite worked the way I wanted it. But if it, uh, I cut it and needs re-welded. You press on that and then just this top section lifts up and it pivots so you can go down through the top to add metal or whatever. Or, you know, check what temperature or whatever you need to do. Or lift the whole thing up. And, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And, uh, if you have any questions on this, or anything else, or comments, suggestions, feel free. Thanks for watching.